Welcome to the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Kyla Ganton, and here is the seafood news for the week of December 16th, 2019. In this week's episode, we go over pricing, catch totals, and 2020 quotas for Pacific Cod, Pollock, and Haddock globally. Overall, Pacific Cod in Alaska will see a decrease in the total allowable catch when compared to 2019. The proposed 2020 TAC is currently set at 124,625 metric tons in the Bering Sea and 13,390 metric tons in the Aleutian Islands. This equates to a decrease of 34 and 6% respectively from 2019's TAC of 166,475 and 14,212 metric tons. As for the Gulf of Alaska, the Pacific cod fishery will be closed for the first time ever with scientists and fishery managers attributing climate change as a main factor for a potential stock crash. NOAA Fisheries research biologist Steve Barbeau can be quoted saying, retrospectively, we probably should have shut the fishery down last year. The total allowable catch in the Gulf of Alaska last year was 11,116 metric tons. Pacific cod harvest totals throughout 2019 were for about 181,600 metric tons in the Bering Sea and Aleutian Islands and in the Gulf of Alaska. Moving on to Russia, the 2020 TAC set by the Russian Federation for Pacific Cod is to increase about 4% to 185,750 metric tons, up from 178,300 metric tons in 2019. 2019 saw Russia longline Pacific Cod earn MSC certification, where in 2020, 162,000 metric tons of Russian Pacific Cod will be available to be sold as MSC certified. Current raw material pricing for Pacific Cod in China ranges from US dollars 3,950 per metric ton for Alaskan longline to 2,850 per metric ton Russian frozen at sea trawl. This translates to about $1.79 per pound to $1.29 per pound US. During the same time last year, Alaskan longline raw materials were as high as 4,650 per metric ton, which translates to roughly $2.11 per pound U.S. U.S. tariffs, larger size and cheaper Russian Pacific cod, and low demand from the EU are contributing factors to the overall downward price trend throughout 2019 on Pacific cod raw materials in China. Let's move on to Pollock next. The proposed 2020 total allowable catch was set at 1.42 million metric tons in the Bering Sea, 19,000 metric tons in the Aleutian Islands, and 114,900 metric tons in the Gulf of Alaska. On December 5, 2019, the North Pacific Fishery Management Council approved a TAC for the Eastern Bering Sea Pollock of 1.425 million metric tons, up 2% over the 2019 TAC of 1.397 million metric tons. Overall, this means the TAC for Alaska Pollock will remain relatively the same from 2019. Russia will see its Pollock TAC increase slightly to 1.83 million metric tons, an increase of about 2% from the 1.78 million metric tons in 2019. December 2018 raw material pricing in China saw Pollock at 1,550 per metric ton or 70 cents per pound US, but then trended upwards mid-year to around 1680 per metric ton or 76 cents per pound US. Fast forward to December 2019 and current raw material pricing for Pollock in China can be seen as high as 1900 per metric ton US, which translates to about 86 cents per pound. Our sources tell us plants are hoping to see pricing go down after Chinese New Year to as close as $12.50 per metric ton or $0.57 cents per pound US. There also seems to be a shortage of headed and gutted pollock sizes that make a proper 2-4 to four ounce pollock fillet, so be wary of cut fillets out in the market to make a 2-4 to four ounce pollock fillet. There will be more 4-6, to 6-8 six, six to eight, and 8-up eight fillets available. Lastly, let's move on to haddock. 
The International Council for the Exploration of the Sea, or ICES, recommended a haddock total allowable catch of 215,000 metric tons for 2020. This is a 20% increase from the 172,000 metric tons advised for 2019, where roughly 89,560 metric tons have been harvested in Russian and Norwegian waters. Current raw material pricing for haddock in China is 3,150 per metric ton, or $1.43 per pound U.S. January 2019 saw the U.S. market for haddock quite down because of the tariffs, but with Atlantic cod pricing high, buyers weren't switching from haddock to cod. The market saw haddock raw material pricing in China go from 3,350 per metric ton in December 2018 to 3,500 per metric ton in March 2019, then down to 3,300 per metric ton in July, which translates to about $1.50 per pound U.S. In September, demand from the U.S. was still weak due to tariffs. The summer raw material pricing dropped to around 3,100 per metric ton, but the quality was not as good as the winter fish. We could see a further raw material price adjustment in the new year, as we are told plants are hoping to see pricing at 2,800 per metric ton, or $1.27 per pound U.S. Our recommendation to buyers is to make your pre-commitments on Alaskan raw materials now as the value of Alaskan products is set to rise. You can then balance out the rest of your needs with Russian longline and trawl raw materials. Thank you for joining me for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Kyla Ganton. Buy smart and eat more seafood.